okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so this is going to be a message for my virgos that is dealing with another earth sign now like i said this is a general message take the parts that resonate leave the rest anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you for those who donate to the channel it's very much appreciated so let's get one card for the overall energy for my virgos that are dealing with another earth sign thank you spirit What's the overall message here? Two cards, okay. So we've got occupation and journey here. So I don't know if someone here is losing a job or um, it kind of feels like somebody giving up on something. Um, someone here may need to relocate for work, but give me one card. Thank you, Spirit. Message of concern. And it's a number 14. And that boils down to a five and the five talks about, you know, for me, the five of wands can talk about conflict, can talk about drama, chaos, jealousy here. But someone here may be worried about some kind of information that they are receiving or some kind of message or something like that. I'm also hearing something that someone is hearing. Pathway at the bottom of the deck with expectation and gift and mature woman. Wow. So there's big transformations here as well for someone. So give me six cards. Thank you, Spirit. What is this message of concern for my Virgos that are dealing with? Yeah, look at that. The eight of Wands, a message, some kind of news. It could also be something moving very fast. Virgos dealing with another Earth sign. What is the energy here? We have the star coming out here. Look at that with the chariot. Ooh. All right, so someone here may be in the public eye. Um, show me more. It kind of feels like someone here is very intuitive as well, because I'm kind of feeling like the chariot. Yes, it's about um, your ancestors divinely guiding you here. Um, it could be something about a vehicle, but I'm picking up more of a spiritual message where I feel like someone gets a lot of downloads from the universe here. So again, someone here could be something like a psychic or just very intuitive here. Someone could definitely be a healer. But it's almost like someone follows um, spiritual guidance. Show me more. The Seven of Cups, okay. Someone here may be very, someone here may be confused about someone's um, gifts or something like that. Or someone here also may be confused, I want to say, about, um, it kind of feels like someone may be confused about how someone's moving forward. We'll see what that Seven of Cups is. What's the Star card? Now, the star card could very well be saying to me that maybe someone here is healed from something. Yeah, look at that. Hanged man. It almost feels like somebody wanted to keep someone stuck. Or, you know, maybe someone else is stuck and now they're looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe they're looking at this star energy differently. Ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And there's that five of wands. It really feels like, guys, that someone here wanted to lay something to rest for someone. Now, I'm hearing backfire. So, I don't know if there's some kind of arguments as well over some kind of finances here. Yeah, I don't know if there's some kind of fight over some kind of inheritance. It does feel like a large amount of money as well. So, this Four of Swords can definitely um, be talking about, you know... It can talk about, um, like I said, it's like an energy of laying something to rest. Um, it can talk about healing, but I feel like there's arguments here over, or there's arguments in a family dynamic. Show me what the chariot is. King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. So there may be, um, especially with that five of wands, there may be an air sign involved in this situation. Take it how it resonates. I'm also hearing with this King of Swords, someone here thought they were clever in doing something. Clarify this King of Swords in the chariot. Yeah, look at that. The Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Uh, 
Now, for some of you, this earth sign may want to come towards you and, and kind of speak to you about something. But um, because the eight of pentacles and the nine of cards, this talks about, hey, it's either someone loves what someone does for work or someone sees that you love what you do for work here. It also may be um, the energy here of somebody seeing that you may be getting celebrated for something here, Virgos, when it comes to your work. Show me what this seven of cups is. The Eight of Cups. Hmm. What is the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups? Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it, this gives me this energy of someone is confused about how you're still moving forward, how you're still growing something, how you're still being praised, how are you healed? How are you a healer? It's the, you know, it feels like someone who has a lot of questions with this Seven of Cups. But show me more, Spirit. Thank you. Now, for some of you, there's someone here, like I said, who wants to come towards you, have some sort of conversation, but they're a little bit confused of how to do that. The Star Card and the Hangs, man. I told you there's some kind of deception here. You have deception, temptation, and then you have facade and beliefs. So I hope this isn't someone trying to figure out how to come towards you to deceive you here. So we'll look at going forward, though. Give me one card. Thank you, Spirit. The star card and the hanged man. What are we getting stuck on? Ah, see, someone here can't stop you here, Virgos. Reason being, look at this. You have lack and doubt. Someone here cannot stop you because you are in your north node. You are in your divine purpose here. Someone here is doing what they are supposed to be doing. Just one card. Thank you, Spirit. The star card and the hanged man. Receive and open. They want you to be open to their offer here. What is this? Yeah, renew and spark. Show me the chariot and the king of swords. Damn, see how that <laughs> flipped in the reverse? Okay. <laughs> Whoever this is, um... I don't know, they may be stuck somehow. Well, we see the hanged man there, right? Looking at the star, looking at you being free and healed and beautiful and balanced. And, and then there's someone here who is feels like on the opposite side of the scales. This may be someone who is wondering, how come you were getting all these opportunities and there is none coming towards them? Now, for some of you, there's a, we'll get another card. For some of you, right, this person, I don't know, with the chariot and the king of swords, they want to come towards you. But with that coming in the reverse, it tells me there's some sort of halt. Yeah, for some of you, someone does want to make you an offer. But look at that, limitations and fears with the decisions about this new beginning here. Give me one more. The chariot and this king of swords. Why is the freedom and leap in reverse? Look at that, lack and doubts, because for some of you, this person doesn't trust. It almost feels like I'm picking up this energy of shame or regret. What is the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups? Thank you, Spirit. My Virgos are dealing with another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. Whoa, the structure and foundation in the reverse. Oh, this is someone who ain't doing too well. <laughs> Show me more. One more. Oh, almost in the reverse, coming out sideways. See, it's almost like the spirit is blocking this person from building anything, from being able to plant new seeds. Okay, spirit, but why? What do they do? What did this person do? 
again now like i said this i think i said uh, look at that assistance from the spirit guides so again if this person tried to do something here to you if they tried to confuse you or whatever they tried to do here right something that was low vibrational um spirit i feel like spirit just kind of returned it straight back to them and it's almost the energy of well how do you like it yeah i part the deck on contracts and career one more card what did this person do here spirit oh the storm <laughs> oh spirit whooping someone's ass <laughs> not the tower and look at these spirit guys are just smiling <laughs> all right um give me three cards from this deck for this situation who is this where goes i really feel like for a lot of you this may not resonate in terms of relationships i mean it might but this is giving me, it's, it's giving me like um, either family energy or a group of friends or uh, maybe even people at work that envy you. I don't know. Give me three cards. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy here? What is this that wants to come? Yeah, the grumpy red fairy. Number eight. Someone maybe receiving some kind of karma. It says, be a true self. Someone mad at you, Virgo? <laughs> Three cards for this situation. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a clear message here. Ooh. Can I get three cards? Thank you. So the first card is number 15. And that boils down to a six, which talks about victory and success. And then you have clean up time. Yeah, it's almost like spirit saying, hey, we, we got to clean whatever this mess up. Because whoever this is, like I said, this is your divine purpose. You will have success. You will be in the public eye. You will go out there and help people. It's almost like I'm hearing taking out the trash. One more. I mean, two more. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgos that are dealing with another Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. What is the energy here? Thank you. So we have Poe. It says, time for change, to learn something new, new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So someone here, like I said, could have been affecting someone's... Um, I was going to say platform, to be honest. And all because, for some of you, all because someone doesn't believe in what you believe in. Storm angel, collisions of belief, styles, attitudes and energies. But it's almost like I'm hearing someone's ancestor or angel say, hey, yeah, we have to go above and beyond. Anything else that will come out of this deck? Thank you, Spirit. So I'm hearing something about lightning or wet, the change in weather. Yeah, from death comes rebirth. And it says, please don't lose hope. Autumn is my last chance. So I don't know if someone's chance has passed here. But show me more. Hmm. Three cards for my Virgos that are dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. So you have, I will wait for a sign from you. And all, these both came out sideways. You have, I'm so attracted to you. And then you have, I'm not available. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, we have, I know that I crossed the line with you. Where are we going? Give me three romance cards, thank you, Spirit, for this situation. Virgo's in with another earth sign. Way too many cards. Yeah, reconciliation in the reverse. I think I just put those all back. In the reverse...
One card at a time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. And it came out in the upright. <laughs> um, hmm, I don't know. We just saw it in the reverse and now we see it in the upright. Again, you guys are going to have to know your story, right? It's a general message. Maybe there's someone that wants to reconcile here with you, but um, maybe you're just not down for it. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I will wait for a sign from you. But it's almost like your spirits are saying it's clean up time. So maybe somebody only wants to come back because you're having some kind of success or victory. You have heart to heart conversations. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And one more. Yes. In the reverse, it says finances and career. So again, like I said, it's like spirit is taking away someone's opportunities here. Now, if it isn't that right, it could just be that someone here may be reflecting and realizing that they planted bad seeds. Maybe it's someone who's realizing they made wrong choices when it came to you. But again, it's that energy for someone here. It's like it's almost like it's too late. For someone to return. So maybe you're the one Virgo saying that you're not available. What did this say? Collisions of beliefs. Give me three cards. Thank you spirit. Virgo's dealing with another herb sign. A Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. What are we getting stuck on? Date, heart with a key. Oh, some of you may be meeting somebody new. Maybe some of you have options here. But you have meeting someone new. It says dating, get back out there. It says plan, set a date. It says welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. So there is a happy ending somewhere. For someone. <laughs> right, three cards. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a clear message. Thank you. Oh, we have coffin and it says endings bring new beginnings. It says growth, change, liberation, and transition. So you know what I've just got as well, Virgos, with that reconciliation in the reverse and then the upright. Like I said, some of you may have options. Maybe you're not willing to reconcile with one person, but you want to reconcile with someone else. Show me more. You have hammer. It says sabotage, rebuilding. It says integ integration. It says repetitive, persistent and working on it. So there is definitely someone here who doesn't want to give up on a situation. And one more. Now, this may also be someone who is realizing that they sabotage the situation with you and they want to repair it. They just want you to be open to this um, renewal. But you see, Virgos, you may be in a, in, a, in a space or in an energy where you're just very focused on you. Show me more. One more. Thank you, Spirit. Too many, and I'm not going for those. I want to see what they are, though, so hold on. <laughs> okay. All right, so it was need time, takes time, in time. It says cycles, time to heal, progress. So for some of you, this is a situation that needed time. Someone here needed to heal, or there was some kind of change that needed to happen. For some of you, there was someone who needed to let go of another person. It says time with friends, moving on, happily, told you, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So some of you are very much, you know, single, un unbothered, unencumbered, you know. And then look what fell on the table, engagement ring. It says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. But I just feel like with that, I don't know, there's some, this person may be intimidated by you here. So Spirit, show me this earth sign's next actions. 
Give me three cards for the next actions they may take. First card out. The four of cups. Someone who's feeling like they missed an opportunity. See how it wanted to land on the star? This was a gift from the universe. You was a gift from the universe. And this person, I don't know, they passed you up. Oh, look at that. The four of wands with the knight of cups and the ace of wands. For some of you, this person desires a new beginning here. Show me more. What is this person's next action? Thank you, Spirit. So we have all oh, the two of cups. Yeah, for some of you, this may be a soulmate or a twin flame connection. I feel like this person is mad that they missed up a, a, um, an opportunity for some of you. Uh, one more. Thank you. The tower. Yeah, told you someone here is mad or they've had some kind of epiphany here. You know, it's that kind of aha moment. Again, you know, this could be also, I said to you, there was something here about the weather. This person may be going through some sort of karma. Sun, the Empress, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords with the Knight of Wands. This person may feel like for some of you that they rushed and did something here. Like I said, to cause some kind of betrayal to this situation. Ten of Swords is the ultimate betrayal. It's almost like I'm hearing something here may be unforgivable. But look at that, they didn't know you was the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Empress, and the Sun. <laughs> For some Virgo here, you was a blessing to someone. So Spirit, show me, is there anything that my Virgos need to be aware of at this time? You have, look at this, healing in a child. So this may be someone with some kind of childhood wounds, right? Um... Okay, that was confirmation. You know, some of you, sometimes, you know, you get this energy where hurt people like to hurt people. Look at this. I told you, guilt and sabotage. They know that they sabotage a situation. One more. Yeah, the Ace of Water. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. All right, <clears throat> so let's get some cards from this deck and let's see what may have went wrong for some of you. All right, so give me some cards. My Virgos are dealing with another Earth sign. I'm just trying to... Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. My Virgos are dealing with another Earth sign. Okay. Two more shuffles. Thank you, Spirit. All right, three more. Thank you. There we go. Top of the deck, we have Date Me. It says, I've learned my lesson, no looking back. And then we have, I can't let you go. And then you have heard it all before. All right, for some of you, we have, I'm hiding a secret child. And then you have, something is coming to light. And then it says, have no fear, Archangel Michael is here. Let's see what fell out on the table. So you have, all I cared about was money. So I left you, it says, big mistake. LOL, ancestors and angels laughing here because we saw there were coins coming out with that empress energy, right? You was, you was the, um, I want to say you was the money, but you know what I mean? Not in that way, right? You have, I met you, you was the gift. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> you have, I'm addicted to drugs. It says someone needs professional help. You have a child will be born, destiny. You have, they fear you. You have the energy of Gemini. And we do have the King of Swords out here. So even though it's Virgo's dealing with an earth sign, you have my childhood still haunts me pain. Yeah, we see that. We have the energy of Cancer. Hmm. So 
someone could be dealing with a cancer um i'm hearing something about the the, the disease cancer I don't know. I'm hearing uncurable. So you have, are you not going to chase me? What do I do now? You have new lovers on the way. Don't look back to the past. It's a test. It says, I love your strength. We love the same music. I want to pull up on you. When I look at her or him, I only see your face. It says, I don't need no more drama in my life. We have the energy of Capricorn. Oh, we have the Miss Seely curse till you do right by me. And then you have, you know nothing, Jon Snow. And then it says they do now. So this is someone who underestimated you. Well, like Spirit says, whatever lesson they went through, whatever this tower is, <laughs> whatever karma they received, whatever they tried to throw at you and receive back. Spirit says, oh, they see you now. Do you see me now? So Virgos, that is what I have for you if you're dealing with another earth sign. That's the energy that I picked up today. Guys, if this is where we part, stay safe, love and light.